Hello and welcome again to another video of mine. I'm going to go through Game Maker's tutorial on how to make a health bar follow you during a view. Uh, I've covered in another video how to make a health bar that's static on the screen, but now I'm going to make one that uh, follows the view of the game. So, what we go into first is set up the view. So in room zero, I've already got made up here with the player object, standard affair. I'm going to go into the settings. Uh, I'm going to change the width of it a bit longer so I can better off show uh, what I'm trying to do here. And first of all, what you need to do is go into views, enable user views, and make them visible when the room starts. Okay, and the view is basically like a camera follow that will follow whatever you want it to follow. In this case, a player. So I'm going to change the width and height. I'm going to choose 300 by 300. And you want to do this both in the view in the room and the port on the screen. It's quite important to make these the same. The port on the screen basically means like the window in Windows or on the Mac. Uh, so if you have it the same, then the resolution will be fine. But if you make the port on the screen bigger than the view in the room, it'll come out all stretched and pixelated. So it's best to keep them the same unless you're trying to go for a specific kind of effect. So the object I'm going to make it follow is the player. And you want to make the horizontal border and the vertical border. Uh, the midway point between the width and the height. Uh, this is to keep the player in the center of the screen. You can alter these as you wish if you want the player to get close to the edge before it starts moving. Okay, so that's the view set up. You'll notice this white box going around uh, showing what the view is. And that's it. That's it. So now we need to draw the health bar. Now the health bar of the player is uh, something we're going to make on another object. So here I'm going to click on make a new object. I'm going to type in uh, p underscore health bar. Okay. It's going to have no sprite because we're going to draw our own. So click on add event, draw. And in the draw event, we're going to go to the draw tab and quickly just draw a square. Um, for further information on how to draw uh, the health bar, uh, that I set up in another video, please go refer to that one. I'll put a link on this right here and follow that here to get the help bar. For now, I'm just going to draw a plain old rectangle. So here I'm going to go uh, and type into our X view. I'll make it view underscore X view and now make it spawn. So imagine if this is the view like over here on this edge. So you can add a value if you want, so like add 50 for example, or add 10 or minus something, it's up to you. So I'm going to go for add 10, view underscore x view plus 10. Uh, let's go on to x2 quickly, so go to view underscore x view plus 110. So it will be 100 in length, basically from x1 to x2, because this is x1 over here, x2 is like over here. For y1, we're going to do view underscore y view plus 10. And for y2, we're going to view underscore y view plus 20. So the health bar is 10 in height and it hang off the edge by 10 pixels. Okay. So as I said, use the uh, HP code as you would normally, but with here, and you just add it on the end. So click OK, and that will draw that. So we have to make sure we put it in the room first. So open the room, and drop in the health bar, any way you like. So you redraw it anyway. And then click the tick. Right now, our room is just a blank color, so it's kind of hard to see the scrolling effect. So what we do is we're going to load up an image or background. So load background. So we can use a default one here, some mountains. That'll do. Put in our room. Go to backgrounds. Choose our mountain range. And there you go. Okay, that's it. Now to test it. Okay, so there's our rectangle that we drew. Okay, nothing special. But if I move, you'll notice that it moves with me. Okay, so if that's our health bar, it will just act like it would normally as we've coded it earlier. 
And there you go. That's how you draw a health bar or anything really on your UI that will follow the player's view. I've been Ryan Lally. Thank you for watching. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. Like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel to get further uh, updates and future videos. Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.